Okay, the idea of... It wasn't actually an idea of getting this. This is... What was in here was going to be something a bit more different than what I thought. Um, the idea was I've got a uh, chart plotter come fish finder on my other boat. And I thought if I buy a transducer or a... Yeah, for the dinghy, I could fit that and then swap between boats. But... Uh, the company rang me up and said we can't do that and we haven't got one anyway and they're not going to be in stock for a long time for the price i was going to pay for a new transducer whatever it was they said we'll give you a good deal and sort this out so we're going to have a look what you get in this box for the same sort of real well, virtually same money so i ordered well i didn't order they sent me i paid for this by the way it's not a freebie so it's a garmin fish finder not so much chart plotter but it does give you where you've been your waypoints and whatnot with my center direction yeah you need it so i'm just going to show you what you get in the box actually I can zoom a little bit more if you want hold on just pop you forward a bit uh, a little bit out okay i don't even know i've not even looked at this yet so let's see what you get Mm. Tidy, very nice. You can see I've not looked at it. So if anybody's thinking of purchasing one, I don't know if I'll be able to test it today or even get it fired up. I might be able to. So you've still got your protective cover on. I'm not taking that off yet, okay? So, item number one. Put that in the box out the way. Oh, there's a bag of goodies. Right, where do we start? Okay, so it comes with a mount. Have a look at that. Swivel mount as well. I'll suss that out later. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a bit. Alright, I want to look to you. That's a bit of another part of. No, no, that's the transduce. That's the transducer mount. There you go. Let's have a look. A ruck of cable comes with this and the connector. Let's see, that'll pop. That's probably for the other boat, but never mind. So that'll fit to the bottom of the dinghy. And enough cable as well. I've got a portable battery which I'll use. Okay, so that's the mounting brackets for the transducer and the rubber. The rubber, I think I know that goes on. Oh, that's the rubber goes behind the plate when you screw it to the bottom of the transom. Okay, all the bits are there. I'll have to look how it connects. Oh, that's weird. So what's that then? There must be a cable that must join. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So that's your power cable. I'll figure it out. Let's have a look. So that must. So your transducer. Oh, okay. There we are. I was getting a bit confused then with the other one. The other one's just got one connector. This is two. So you've got your power connector and then you've got your transducer connector there. So we'll have a look in a sec. All the instructions. Stainless steel screws. That's good. Fitting instructions and guarantor. There we go. So you can actually fit it to the bottom or if you've got a um, electric motor which I a trolling motor which I do have but I won't be using it on that don't think so anyway well there we go that's what you get in your little box so I'm just trying to think how this fits it looks like it just clips on top like zoom oh there we go and then oh, put it on the wrong way. Oh, there we go. 
There you go, so it just clips on. And then to get it off, I presume you just pull the clip back. There we go, yeah. So you just push the clip in and clip it back. And that's it, that will let's have a look. Oh yeah. Cool. So I'm just trying to think. What does that do? Oh, there you go as well. So the base swivels. Every day is a learning day. So that swivels as well. So your cables will go through there or not? I don't know. Oh, I thought so. So there you go. So it turns, swivels, and turns, swivels, and tilts. I might get a bit of power to it. So this is exactly what it says: transmank transducer. But it doesn't give you anything about wiring instructions. It just tells you in multiple languages how to and where to. So fitting instructions. There we go. And this is in multiple languages, so I'll have a look at the other book. Oh. This is the, oh yeah, this is the Striker 4 Plus. Okay, so, 3 amp fuse, which you definitely will use that. Okay, well, have a look, I don't know what the other ones do, so you got positive and negative. Blue and brown wires are only needed for sharing data with another echo map or striker device. So they're, they're not even, so there's no need to worry about those two. So all you need is positive and negative to a battery with a three amp fuse. And I think it's got an inline fuse by the look of it. Yep. Just focus on that for you. Okay. Hmm. If we can pop it into a battery and see if we can bring the thing like to life. And power, it can only go in one bay way by the look of it. You've got a little digi missing at the top. There we go. Straight in. And there you go. She's alive. So I won't do anything with it now. I'll probably just put tick for English. Okay, so you go store, demonstration. Okay. So I'm just going to turn it off and then we need to... Um, but there you go. Um, easy. Positive and negative. This is, this is the battery I'm using. It's going to be a. It's going to go in, in the back of the boat. It's just a wheelchair. We've had it. Wheelchair battery. We've had it. Yonks. And they're just brilliant. They're gel. They just seem to last forever. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, take care, and we'll catch you in the next one. All the best. Oh, by the way, over here is uh, latest coming videos and subscribe button and notification bell over that side. All right. Take care. See you again. Bye.